YouTube, what's going on? It's Big Len, aka Lennon. I've got a good little video today for you. I've got the best loadouts that you need to run now in Warzone Ranked. I'm currently 21st in the world. I'm, I'm up there, I'm up there. 21st in the world. So yeah, these are the classes that I use. Uh, I have a sniper build. I have an assault rifle, obviously, loadout too, with a sub. So let's, let's delve in. First class, we've got the Cronin Squall. Oh, I like to call it the Destroyer because it destroys enemies. Um... You've got a gunsmith. This is what I'm running. I've got the HR 6.8 barrel. The Sacking Tread 40. The FTAC Ripper 56. The 50 round drum. And the SZ Recharge DX Optic. You can't tune in rank for some reason. So we have to go out of rank. And we have to go into a normal power rail. And I'll show you the tunings. You can also you can save the, um, the custom mod. And then you can use it in rank. So if you didn't know that. Now you know. Um, what are the tunings? I've got the HR 6.8 barrel. These are the tunings. The muzzle. These are the tunings. For the underbarrel, these are the tunings. And for the optic, these are the tunings. However, there's a slight twist. Some people have been using thermal. You can use a thermal optic. If you want to use a thermal, the holo therm uh, sight, you want to tune it like this. You want to tune it ADS, just all the way down and close. That's what I like. I like tuning it. And yeah, that's the thermal version. People use thermal because everyone's just running smokes right now I'm ranked. You know, smokes are pretty good at getting out of situations. And you can no, like, no longer live ping through a smoke. So people have started to use thermal. So that's the thermal build too. Um, for the latchman, it's a bit of a different latchman build to how I usually run things. But it's the L38226 barrel. The FSS Shark Fin 90. The 40 round mag. The latchman TCG 10 rear grip. And the Mir, Mir Recall 56 battery stock. Um... This one doesn't have the laser. I know a lot of people, you run the laser, but for me, this build's better because it doesn't have the laser. So when you aim down sights, um, people can't see the laser. So it's just easy to like creep up on people, sneak up on people. But the tunings I've got as like it's like so. So that's the tunings for the barrel, under barrel, rear grip, and the Demir rear call factory stock. These are the tunings. And then for the smoke, for the tacticals, I've got smoke and a Semtex. And then per package, I run this one, overkill, double time, fast hands, ghost. However, maybe in the future I might run cold blooded because the thermals are becoming a bit of a joke in rank right now. So I might instead of fast hands run cold blooded. You can do right now. Cold blooded is a bit. It's a bit. Um, it's a bit like uh, what's the word? It's a bit. It's a bit shit. Um, it doesn't actually counteract the thermals. You can still get steam for it. So right now it's not really worth using cold blooded. But when they fix that, cold blooded will be the counter to it. So that's good. Uh, the next class I've got is the ISO Hemlock and the Latchman. The usual build that I usually run. I've got the Harbinger D20, I've got the Fielder T50, the FTAT Ripper 56, the 45 hour mag, and the SZ Recharge. For these tunings on the barrel, I've got these. The tunings on the muzzle, I've got these. The tunings on the underbarrel, I've got these. And then the tunings on the optic, I've got these. Uh, ISOC Hemlock, just an all around beast gun. I, I usually switch between the two, the Cronin and the, and the ISO, but yeah, these two are the, the best right now. And for the Latchman, it's the exact same attachments as before. This is my preferred build. But I'll give you a very, uh, another build that you could run. You could take off this. You could take off the rear grip. You can put on ammunition. You can put on armor press. Tune it like this. So damage range. Pull it lost it. And then you can stick a laser on. A VLK laser. And tune it like this. Tune it like that. And then that's another build that people run. Just depends. For me, I, I don't like the laser. Because I like to like creep up and people in down sides and stuff like that. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's personal preference really. They're both really good versions of the gun. Same thing, smoke, semtex, and obviously got the ghost on. Same, same, same uh, perk, same perk package. And then this one's juicy. This is a sniper build that I like to run. So if I ever want to snipe, the team needs a sniper. You no, know, Len, get the sniper out. I think there's a few good teams in the lobby. Try to pick them off. This is the one that I'd use. The MCPR 300, and again, the Latchman sub. The MCPR, this is what I've got. I've got the Nil Sound 90, and the muzzle. I've got the 22 inch OMX barrel. The FSS OLA laser. The Forge Tat Delta 4 and 300 mag explosive. For the tunings, this is for the muzzle. This is for the barrel. This is for the laser. And this is for the scope. For the ammunition. That's for the ammunition. Uh, probably the best sniper. It's this and the FGX. I can give you the FGX build after this. But yeah, this one's what I'm my, my go to right now when I'm sniping. This is the build that I'm using. I use a quick, a little bit of quicker build. It's to say it's the build that I showed you before. It's got a bit quick ADS, but obviously it's got the laser on, but I feel like you kind of need that with a sniper, so. So yeah, that one, and obviously, smoke, Semtex, that's always going to be there. And the same perk package, uh, I use Overkill, Double Time, Fast Hands, Ghost, but you can use High Alert on a, on a sniper class. I feel like High Alert might be a beneficial on a sniper, just so 
you know, when you're getting looked at or whatnot, but I mean, I'd stick with the Ghost. The next class is the FGX Sniper class. I don't use this as much, but I know you guys might want to use the FGX. You might like it, so here's a build. F FTAT draw Dreadnought. Uh, barrel is the Fahrenheit 29 inch. The VLK laser. The Forge Tat Della Optic. And uh, explosive ammunition rounds. Tune like this. The explosives. What it's tuned for explosive ammunition and then the muzzle this is what it's tuned for the barrel this is what it's tuned for the laser this is what it's tuned for and for the optic this is what it's tuned for and that's that build and then this one i've got a little vasnev build so if you guys want the vasnev build you know you're looking for a nice little vasnev build you like the vasnev well it is a good build this is what i'm using got the spiral v 3.5 flash hider got a 9mm frangible got the 45 round mag Got the FSS Ole V laser and I've got the OT Resat stock. Tune like this. So the muzzle, this is how it's tuned. The laser, this is how it's tuned. The stock, this is how it's tuned. The ammunition, this is how it's tuned. The 45 round mag. That's the Vaznev build. I prefer the Latchman, but the Vaznev, it's kind of personal preference. They're both really good. So if you like the Vaznev, that's that's a nice little build for you. Smoke, Semtex. You can in fact let me to add, I'll add, I'll add. You can use a drill charge, but for me, I'm just good with a Semtex, so I just use a Semtex. But you can use a drill charge. It's up to you. I think drill charge and a Semtex, they're both beneficial, they're both good. So you can use whatever you want. For me, I use Semtexes, but yeah, I know some people, some pros do like to use drill, drill charge. So yeah, each to their own on that one. And obviously, I can say some people do like using stuns and flashes, but for me, smokes are definitely. I think everyone runs smokes, so just run smokes. Third package. For me, this one, I've gone for high alert just in case, you know, I wanted to pick a high alert class. I've got a high alert class. This is the one I'd use. But yeah, that's the F that's the FGX loadout build. And then I've got another two loadouts. You're probably thinking, what are these for? Because I've got a, I've got a pistol on, a handgun. Well, so you see the zones when they end in the water. There's some zones that end in water. They've kind of fixed it though. It used to happen all the time, but they fixed it, but they can still end in the water. I've got a build just in case to do. So, I mean, it's the same hemlock build. The exact same, the exact same. But this is the build for the, for the pistol. It's the F-Tac Siege. This, you can use this in the water. It's like the best pistol in the water. So I'm using a Street Sweeper Barrel, the Cronin Mini Pro, the Siege Wire Stock, the SUR Rear Grip, the 72 round drum. This is how it's tuning. The barrel, this is how it's tuned. The Optic, this is how it's tuned. The Stock, this is how it's tuned. And the Rear Grip, this is how it's tuned. Uh, I've got the Smoke Semtex, usual. And then for this one, I use Double Time Tracker Fast Hands and Ghost because Tracker is the best like secondary perk to overkill so you use that. I've just got Ghost in there but to be fair you don't really need Ghost because it's end zone so you could change to you could change to High Alert too but I also use this class when I'm trying to get my second load out so you say you've got your first load out say you pick say you've got this load out or whatnot or you've got this load out but you want to there's another load out on the map that you can grab easily. You can also pick this one and obviously pick the sub up that means you get Tracker as well so you know I do that too. Um, and then this one's just this again. This is just a this is one that, that I mainly use when I'm in the water end zones because I like to snipe people in the water. So this is what I'd pick. So it's the same same build, the same build on the sniper MCPR, the same build on the, on the pistol, uh, smoke semtex. And this one I've got tracker double time fast hands and high alert because this is the end zone water build. You don't really need ghost in the end zones. No one's really popping movies. But they're the builds. They are the builds that I use in, in ranked play right now. Uh, I've been obviously piecing. I've been piecing, piecing up. But yeah, if you want to come catch a journey, I'm going for number one. You can check my Twitch out. It's twitch.tv slash Lennon. I'm live every day, grinding SR, grinding the leaderboards. Trying to get to that at least top 10 spot. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoy the videos. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy all the classes that I've showed you. Let me know how you get on with them. Let me know, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Take it easy. Peace, peace, peace.